This segment sponsored by Lasses. Driving around Fort Wayne, you may have seen Lasses, which is a gas station and convenience store. But did you know they've been serving the Fort Wayne community for almost 100 years? Here to share more today is Stephanie Gallantine, the COO, and Brittany Wilchar, who is the Director of Human Resources. Hello, ladies. Good morning. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Yes. So it's so interesting that this organization, this business has been around for so long. So this is a family um, company. And so share more just about Lasses overall? So we're fourth generation family owned. Um, prior to 1925 going into the gas station business, they actually owned hotels and a coal business. Wow. So after that, they sold the coal business and went into gas stations. And we, our first location was actually on Wayne and Anthony, right downtown mm -hmm. Fort Wayne. Yeah, that's awesome. And so there's over about 16 locations, right, in Fort Wayne, but over 30 locations throughout Indiana and Ohio. So that's just so incredible that you all have expanded the way that you have being a family business and really have, I feel, taken the services a level up. So Brittany, can you share a bit about just what you offer at Lasses? So we um, really do think that we can provide a better experience. Mm -hmm. um, when you come into a Lassus store, you will always be greeted with a smile and hopefully an experience that's going to want to bring you back. We yes. also, um, we did just roll out a new app yes. and um, we have tons of deals for our customers mm -hmm. on that app. Um, so we do want to encourage everybody to check that out. Yeah, that's awesome. I understand if you download the app, you can save like 15 cents really? on a gallon. Like that is incredible. Yes. <laughs> so that's really awesome. Okay, so inside the store, they get a whole experience, right? Of course, they have food, um, drinks that they can buy, in addition to gas, like a convenience store. But one thing I found interesting about you all is that your food is made to order. Yeah, so there's plenty of options for that, but we yeah. have a proprietary pizza and sub offering. It's called Elmo's mm -hmm. and that's actually named after Elmer Lassus. That's a small tidbit there. Uh -huh. um, we have 16 locations in Fort Wayne and then the surrounding areas, but you can order online mm -hmm. um, to pick up or you can come in and order off our kiosk. We also have warmers where if you're in a rush but you need a sandwich or a right. pizza you can grab straight from there and mm -hmm. head up to pay okay. lots of options yeah there are and i know that you all are um having an initiative for recruitment you know and, and wanting people to understand your business so they can come and work for you so share with me some of the benefits or really what sets you apart or makes you different when it comes to the um, employment environment um, there's a lot, probably more than we can go over today. Um, we do offer some really cool and benef benefits to our team. Um, I think what's so special about Lassus is that there's so much room for growth. Mm -hmm. um, a large portion of our leadership team um, started in the stores. Mm -hmm. Both Stephanie and I started mm -hmm. in the stores. Really? Um, wow. And it, it's what makes us special. And makes leadership really able to serve well. Mm -hmm. That's very interesting. And can you speak to the fact that you all have a majority of women working for your company and you really empower them and really develop that type of culture? So can you share more about that, Brittany? Absolutely. So we actually are about 60% um, percent women throughout our entire company wow. and about 75% of our leadership is mm -hmm. made up of women. Uh, but I do want to say that that's really happened organically, and I think it's um, mainly due to the fact that our ownership has created such a culture of inclusivity for all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. And what has your experience been just working in such a female-driven environment? Well, uh, it's, it's of course been enjoyable, but as I've moved throughout different roles in the company, I often found myself working in a group of men and I never felt as though that was an issue. So mm -hmm. certainly we have women uh, sitting around the table today more now than ever, but it's because we were welcome to the table. That was never an issue for our company. Yeah, I love that. I love that you both started off in the store. And CSRs, part-time really? high yep. school. Yep. Wow. Yep. Yep. And then have grown and evolved to director of um, human resources and asset protection, right? Mm -hmm, and yeah. then the COO, yeah. 
That is incredible. Yeah, what a testimony. Is. Congratulations yeah. to you both. And Thank you. it really does show the value that this company places on their employees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so share a bit more just about um, some of the initiatives. I know that you all are big on serving the community yeah. and showing up in that capacity. So share more yeah. with us, Stephanie. So we have a couple programs. One right now, we are fundraising for Mother's Hope mm -hmm. and we it's been extremely successful and I attribute a lot of that to Brittany's planning and communication, but the stores and the customers are certainly where it's at. Mm -hmm. So we're really proud of that. And we try to do that three to four times a year. We try not to overwhelm the customer. Of course, we want to give them a break right. from those asks, but it's always somewhere that serves the majority or all of where we are located. So that organization will go as far as our C stores go mm. is the goal. Mm -hmm. Additionally, the company has set aside funds annually that are broken out by location and they can pick their own community action mm. um, plan every year so they can donate to the local baseball team or they can go to um, a food bank. They can do whatever they want to do with that. There's a lot of football teams that benefit from this, yeah. but the team members get to choose where that money's spent. So the company is not always selecting where the investment goes mm -hmm. and that gets a lot of uh, traction in the small communities, of course, but sometimes the Fort Wayne locations will band together and mm. take their funds and make a bigger impact too. So oh, that's wow. really exciting. That is awesome. Yeah. I love it. Well, I love meeting you ladies and learning more. So thank you so much, Stephanie and Brittany, thank for joining for me today. Us. Yes. Thank you. thank you. And as they mentioned, you can check out the new app for Lasses by downloading it from the App Store. We'll also be sure to have their information listed below and we'll be right back. This segment sponsored by Lasses.